Well, it's a road trip day. Mikey and I are out. There he is. The wind's bad. Can you see First me? First door we've knocked, guys. And got anyone to answer? Check it out. Early 1800s. I can't back out anymore or I'll be out on the road. But fair amount of yard. Gentleman went to a doctor just said, help yourself. So we are going to hit it and hopefully do good. Let you know. Well, I'm on the back side of the house. The front side didn't pan out except for a nickel. Found a quarter over there. Um, had a uh, 1244 signal here and just busted it out. And I'm not sure if this is an old barrel tap or if it's some kind of a spigot thing. But uh, cool fine. Ring up nice. And I'm not sure. Kind of looks like a barrel tap, but probably not. Probably some kind of, yeah, I don't know. I guess it is a barrel tap because it has no hookup for a hose, so. Anyway, it's a good find. I'm tickled with it. We'll see if we can get some more. Old Mike and I are road tripping today. We've got permission at this house that is over 140 years old. I'm thinking it's a mid 1800s house. And Mikey says he popped a Tootsie toy right out of the chute. Look at that. I've seen that one, have you? I haven't. Have you seen that one? It's got a bat wing on it. I've never seen that one. Wow, that huh? is cool. Check that out. Different. It does. It's got a bat wing. I'm not sure. I have seen not that. seen that. It's like you broke a little bit of it there. I thought I did too, but I can't find the remnants in there. Yeah, there's not much to it, probably. Just the roof, but that is cool, Mike. I can't tell which way it goes. That's got to be the back end. It's got yeah. a trailer hitch. So. It's got a bat wing on it. Yeah, good find, buddy. Yeah, first haul. All man. right, let's keep going. 1244. 1244, yep, I dig those. Alright. Alright guys, Mikey busted that Tootsie toy and uh, I popped a 1909 wheat scent. And uh, the yard is very small. We don't have much to hunt, so we're going to hunt it pretty thorough. But it's coming out here. I've already put the plug back. Hadn't tamped it down yet, but just popped it open. This thing wasn't two inches deep, guys. Check it out, 1906 Indian Head Penny. So, tickled. That helps the day start off pretty good. And uh, beautiful coin. Uh, soil is very kind to them here so far. So, anyway, hopefully we can get on some more. Apologize for the train noise, but everywhere we've been, it's been crazy with trains. So, we'll keep going. Well, I had an 11.13, 11.14 signal, and I just got down to it, and it popped just like that, guys. Check it out. A buffalo. Looks like it's in good shape. Probably got a date on it. Yeah, I can't see what it is, but... Very deep. Huh? Very deep. No, it was right here. Oh, yeah, I popped it out and it just it just came right up. It was in this little clod right here. There was a spot you could see it. It just and it laid out just perfect like that. But cool little buffalo nickel there. Got that black tone to it. Let me rub it off real quick. See what we can see date wise. Uh, I believe it's got one. I just can't tell on my viewfinder. But anyway, cool. Hitting the tribe today with the Indian, now the buffalo. Hopefully, we can get on some more. Woohoo! Okay, guys, I just dug that buffalo right here. Went down, turned, and made a turn, and had a 11:39 signal, and it's another Indian. There's the back of it cleaned up, and they are coming out really nice here. See if we can get a date. 02, does it look like to you? 1902, so awesome sauce. 1902 Indian to go with an 06 and an 09 and not very deep. So, gotta love it when it turns out like this. Maybe there's some silver. We'll see. From that hole right there came a piece of trash. People wonder if I dig trash. I do. I just don't show it because it's trash. But Mikey gave the Indian call. And so we'll go check it. I told you it was a small yards, guys. This is it. But, I'll tell you folks, I like the smaller yards because the signals are concentrated. You got him a pretty, boy, they're pretty out of here, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Did you beat me for oldest coin? No, I can't. Let me clean it off here. Give me just one second. All right, clean it up and we'll show it. A little knucklehead right. went off in 1899 on me. Got her cleaned up, and it's 
That's awesome. It's got some swag on it. You guys see Mikey got a new camera? He can actually see through the viewfinder now. I know. I'm going big time Isn't that now. Awesome? Thanks to my buddy. He he got me this for Christmas. That is my Christmas I'm gift to him. So excited about using it. You guys are going to All right. Good job, buddy. I missed one. There's Mikey's walk of shame as he came over. I just popped it out. I don't know if it's an Indian. It rang up like an Indian, not like a wheat. But it is an Indian. Excellent. All right. Well, let me clean it up real quick on my britches. Sure missed that one. Get you a look on it real quick. Date to beats 18.99 on his. What'd that ring at? Uh, 35. Yeah. And the date on mine is an 05. Oh, Gunner, I can't beat you to save a life. Oh, I no, still got the oldest no, one? 1895, sorry. Is it? No, it's uh, 1905. So I've got oldest, oldest penny, huh? Yeah, oldest penny. Right, but you got three. I only Tickled got one. Tickled of that. See if we can get some more. All right, I went and got Mike. I might regret it. I'm looking for a surface find. Surface find he's looking it's for. I just, I had a 1243 signal and I just popped it out and it's big and copper. All right. And I don't know what it is. It's not a coin. It is a piece of junk. Nope, it's a pool tab. Man, those are it's awesome. It's a drawer pool. I love those. That's, it's not, that's not a pool one of tab. The best relics. It's not oh a pool gosh. tab, you goob. That's, that's, that's a super fine. Got all fine. excited for nothing there. Oh man, I love those. It's a doorknob. A drawer knob. Oh, and we'll keep great. going. I mean, I all right, guys, we are on our second permission. This unit right here. It's a big old unit, and it sits right on Main Street. I mean, not Main, Broadway. Um, and I'm heading back to the truck. I found this big copper disc. It's probably not going to focus because there's hardly any detail on it. And I cannot figure out. looks like it's got something on this side. Possibly. Um, but I'm having trouble making anything out. It's pretty slick. Uh, looks, it's about the size of a quarter. Of course, it's not a quarter, but... Anyway, I'm going to put it in the truck. Maybe it'll dry and expose something while we're hunting. But we just got started here. That was my second hole. First one was a penny. So we'll see if we can get some more. All right, I'm not going to scream bucket lister, but it's a first one. 2000 Canadian nickel with a busy beaver on the back. So <laughs> that's fun. Let's see if we can get some more. All right, guys, third permission of the day. Hopefully my nose isn't running all over. Second hole, first was a zinc at four inches, and this was a 43 signal, and it was fairly deep. I don't know what it is, but it is appearing silver. It's a dime, it's probably a Merc. It is. So, all right. oh, Mercury dime. So, let's see what year we got on it. 44, does that look like to you guys? Something. 40 something. So, nice dark rich tone on that side. I like that. Yep, 44. So, tickled with that. First silver of the road trip. And we'll see if we can get some more. Well, we're losing light. And, uh, Mikey heard me talk. He turned on me. I knew he was going to come look. Get warmed up. But... Anyway, this almost hit the trash, guys. This was an 11.30, 11.31 signal. Finally got down to it, but it was so clogged up with dirt, I didn't realize what it was until I cleaned it. Check it out. It's a lead army soldier. Wow. Sitting on the pot. That is cool. Apparently. So I dinged it a little bit right there. Had no clue what it was at first, but... Man, I'm tickled with that. That is neat. Hopefully, I don't know if it'll have writing on its hind end. I got him there, too. Ooh, that's a bad place to get it. Little army prostate exam by Mr. Ford. So, anyway, we're going to keep seeing if we can get some more out of here before it gets too dark. Hey, guys, we're about done here. <clears throat> I was on a nickel signal. I just dropped it back down in there. Nickel signal, but I think I got gold. I wiped it once. It's heavy. I don't know if it was part to a band or something. No markings on it that I can see. Actually, it's got numbers on there. It's a 5 to, 
Uh, I can't tell. Anyway, we'll look at it better when we get back to the room and see what it is. It's got some weight to it for no more than it is, so... Anyway, who knows? Could be a silver gold Indian kind of day. Hope so. We'll press on. Almost done. Mike and I are on a big unit this morning. It's cold. About 34 degrees. But it's not windy, so that's good. But you see this unit behind us. It was uh, built in 1850. The back part was over here. And then added on 1870s. I had a 12... And it's been hunted many times, he says. A uh, guy found a silver thimble he knows of, but... Anyway, I had a, uh, an uh, 1130 1228 signal, and I just popped it out, and I don't know what it is. But it's kind of cool. Fairly deep, about six inches, and uh, which we assumed things were going to be deep. I'm thinking about, I've got my 11 inch coil on. Uh, I'm thinking about putting a 17 inch on and just trying to get some of that deeper stuff that maybe they missed. But anyway, that's my first find of the day, and don't know what it is, but I'm still tickled with it. Hopefully, we can get some more. I had a signal that I just almost didn't dig. I'm right up here by the front of the 1870s built part. This thing rang up 1132, 1131, and then it went 1130. I just popped it out. It was about five or six inches deep. And I can see I just wiped it there. It's an Indian. Let's see what kind of a date we have on it, if we can tell. If I can get it to focus, it's dark. 1894. So that's a good, good find, 1894 Indian, right here in the front. And again, it was just not a great signal. It was 1130. Um, it hit fairly solid, but just the numbers were a little bit lower than what I had, uh, you know, was expecting for something like this. Man, I can't get that to focus at all. It was just so gnarly. But there you go, 1894 Indian. So anyway, first good find here, and we'll see if we can get some more. There's you a good look at the house we're hunting here. Back part, again, built 1850 and then added on in the front in 1870, but it's been hit many, many times. But anyway, we'll keep going. Well, old Mikey and I are on another new permission. This is a big old house, big unit sitting on the corner here. Not a whole lot of yard, built in 1895. We just had the police roll up on us again lady across the street apparently Mike was threatening when he knocked on her door anyway her son came by with a clown mask on which was bizarre and then the police showed up so anyway Mikey causes all kinds of turmoil while we're out hunting he's just look at him he's a madman anyway hadn't found much so far dimes couple dimes uh, had a strange signal here dug out a little piece of slag of some sort then check it out Got myself a thimble. It looks silver, but it's too light, in my opinion, to be silver. I believe it's aluminum. And it's, yeah. But it is nice. We'll just clean it up a little bit more. It's got a little weight to it, but I don't know. Usually they clean up a lot better than that when they are silver. So we'll call it aluminum for now, unless I tell you any different. Pretty anyway. We'll keep going. All right, here's a look at the house we're hunting now. It was built in 1836. And uh, the story is that that's where people used to go before they got married to get their blood tested. I guess to make sure they weren't first cousins. <laughs> or second cousins. I guess second cousins is okay in this state, right? I'm third cousins. You are. You, you're third cousin. But old Mikey gave the thumbs up. And, uh, oh, look at there. He's already got her sitting up nice and pretty upside down for me. Check that out, boys and girls. Let me block some. I'm going to pick her up so I can look. That's pretty. 44. Let me get in the shade. There you go. Butamus. Nice coin, buddy. Nice coin. So we knew there had to be some silver here. I found eight wheat pennies so far. I ain't found any. And I just keep waiting for one of them to be a silver. Got a 55 Jefferson nickel. Okay. All right. Let's see if we can get some more. I didn't have video going a while ago, but there were two cats, and they were fighting. And they had come and were fighting on the other side of this little holly. And just tore out and almost ran me over. I was about to freak just a little bit. I love cats, except for when they're dangerous. 
I had myself a 1244 signal and I just pulled it out. It appears to be a reeded silver rim. See it right there, Mikey? That is. Don't know much more about it. What are you thinking, Mike? It's a uh, Roosevelt. It's a Merc? No? Yeah. yeah, it's a Merc. No, it's a Roosevelt. Sure enough. It's a silver rosy anyway. It's a 52. That's probably about where all those wheats are too. So, yeah, more silver for the trip. We like it. Now we got to get older. Woohoo! I will tell you this much: when you're hunting a house that's built in 1836, and this pops out, uh, you choke up a little, and then you realize this is a play dime. Oh well. Still look cool fine. We'll see if we can get some more. Uh, hopefully not of these though. It is a beautiful, beautiful, stinking cold day. Just got us permission. Hit that large unit right there. It's got quite a bit of yard. Derek Ridland. Good morning, buddy. Good morning. You guys have seen him on Road Warrior 72. Missouri Mike. You've seen him in almost every one of my videos, and for that I apologize. Uh, that makes the show, Dad. We're getting ready to get it on, aren't we? Yeah, I got my belt on. It is go time. Hopefully you'll see something. Ground's pretty hard right now, though, so we'll it's see. It's frozen. I already had a 1991 zinc surface find, though, so my day is complete. We'll keep going. Don't know if I mentioned it's cold. Really cold. Derek took this quadrant up here. He's over behind the trees there. I know we're looking into the sun. Mikey's taking that side on the sidewalk, and I'm taking the side of the house over here. Gone down one pass, coming back on my second pass. A lot of zinc, zinc pennies, but I got this, which I thought was an Indian signal. You can see some of the dark discoloration, and it was sitting right here. You can see the outline right there. But it's a wheat scent. It's a cut wheat scent, and it's an older one. I can't see the date exactly, but it appears to be an older one. It's cut right on the date. It's probably 1914D. Go figure. Anyway, it's a good start. We'll see if we can get some more. All right, Derek's on the call early this morning. 2930. 2930. I only dug it because it's deep. What does she got? Indian? Yeah. I can't. It's pretty toasty, but that's the back. But you can see on the other side. Oh, yeah. Eight. Or is it the 19 -0? Let me hit it with my britches real quick. I get out of your shadow. It's cold, isn't it? It is cold. <laughs> 29 30, huh? How deep? About four? Uh, five. Five. Alright, guys, let's, let me get in the shade. Huh. I don't know, it's 1877, I think. Not. I can't tell what it is. I think it's a 92. But, anyway, good find. He gave it a kiss. Oh, you're just so special. Figure it out later, I guess. Mikey's over getting him some good pull tabs, so we'll see what he does. Derek on the call again. With a little boom boom Indian. Woo! 28, 29 again. Really? Damn. How deep was that one? Four. Yeah. What is it? I think it's an Indian. There's some lettering on the edge that makes you think it's an Indian, but wow. it's just a little railroad. It's like a railroad. Just like your two cents. Oh, it's been flattened? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell what it is? Six flags over mid-America, it says. About six black tokens. <laughs> I haven't used it though. Are your, are your legs frozen? We're good. My hands, my hands are cold. It is a copper oval shaped uh, something yeah, or other. I can see what looks like the headdress around the top, maybe. But it's definitely smashed So, good smashed find. 
You got to give you got to give a different sign than Indian on that one. It's got to be a weird weird sign. Like that, and you go like that. Yeah, you got to flatten your face out. That's what you got to do. You found anything over? I have not. No. Thank you for asking. Huh? What's that? I think it's a semi or a train. Oh, I yeah, see. Yeah, you got upside down. Yeah. Yeah. There's a little clip on the back of it. Yeah, like a keychain. It's a semi keychain for a trucker. Prime, Prime Incorporated. All right, man, find something really, really, really good, like this right. silver-looking. My nose is running so cold out. Mine is too, man. It is cold. It's supposed to be 40 today, though. Let's let's hope for it. We are on a new permission, a large Victorian. I'm not sure the age on this. Probably, uh, I would say, 1800s later, probably. But Derek gave the old Indian sign. How deep was it? About five. 30, really? 36, 37. So that's a better yard. Crap! I dug a, uh, I dug a zinc penny at six, and it was obliterated. Oh one. What year was this house? Did you ask? No. You didn't ask. It's got the it's got that brick foundation. Yeah. Yeah. Which means what? 1870s, probably. Probably. 1901 Indian. You're killing some Indians this morning. Good job, buddy. That is awesome. That's a pretty one too. It's got the beads around the neck. Does Clean it? up real nice. Looks like he's got a tattoo on his neck too. That's what they did in the hundreds. Oh yeah. Yeah. All right, man. We'll keep going. Good job. Well, it had me an 1134 signal, just unearthed it right there, so it was about four inches, and it's just a bling junker ring, but it is a ring, and it counts in the ring category. So right now, I'm winning when it comes to rings for the trip, because no one else has found one, so I'm number one. Woohoo! You'll keep going. <laughs> well, this time it's old Mikey on the call. I can't do anything but dig six and seven inch zinc pennies. Oh, Mike, doing like I'm doing, hitting the sidewalk strip. He gave the Indian sign. All righty, Mike Aroni. What year you got? 1896. Sweet. Check that out, guys. 1896 Indian. How deep? Good ways, wasn't it? Seven? It's right in there. Yeah. What'd it hit? It was bouncing around 1235, 1135. All right. Good job, buddy. Yeah. You can't tell it, but this is a huge house that I just got his permission at. I just started, had a really shallow, I'm loving this, two inch signal, and it's an Indian. 07. What is it? 1907. Indian. Wow. So, I'm tickled with that, and uh, first hopefully hole. many more. Yeah, first hole. Wow. Yeah. Not a whole lot of signals, but that was a good one, so we'll see if we can get some more. Derek just ducked down on me, but he's working that side over here, and I'm taking this side. Had a uh, 1447 signal, and I just opened the hole and check it out. It's sitting right there. I'm not sure if it is silver. I don't think it is. I don't think it's that old. Stainless steel. Well, at least I got me something to eat with. Oatmeal's going to be a lot easier to put down than using my hands like this morning. So, anyway, cool little spoon. Let's see if we can get some more. All right, I'm working this front quadrant up here had a nickel signal actually it was a little bit lower than a nickel and I'm glad I dug it let's check it out a little fancy I think what is a button but I'm not sure it could be a pin looks like that little stone thing inside is about to come out maybe back here but oops dropped it oh well it was fun while it lasted hey I'm back all right we'll see if we can get some more oh Mikey for the first time throwing up the thumb today and you all know what that means. He's trying to be Fonzie. Let's see. It's right there on top. And it says... What? What is it? One dime? Don't know. Do you not really? I really don't. I haven't looked at it. You want me to surprise you? Yeah. Let's see what it is. Seated or... The house is 1890, so I'm betting Barber. <gasps> what is it? Barber. Oh, uh, really? Where did you get all it's at? 1905. Get all sad about a 1905 barber, man. You're on the board. Boy, that's all got right. some pretty dark toning to it, too. Super. I like that a lot, Mikey. Yeah. 
deep. Mikey's on working on finishing out his quadrant. Derek went ahead and took this area up here. He's already done with it, and he's done with the other side, and I'm still working this quadrant here. And uh, had a deep signal, and just pulled it out in a little harmonica reed. So that's cool. Always enjoy finding those. Wish I could play one. Of course, you couldn't play this one. You have to put it together. Anyway, it's a harmonica read, and I love it. We'll keep going. All right, guys, Derek's on the call. We were just almost done with this. He's doing the sidewalk strip. He gave the old thumbs up. Right next to the truck. Right next we're to the truck. Ready. Everybody got ready. Oh, and he's got the old one nine. Oh, it's wet right here. One nine. Wipe it, baby. Oh, that. What do you think? I think it's a barber. Yeah, I would. I don't know. It's on the sidewalk. Here we go. Don't look. Don't look. Ah! It's a barber. Baba. See the date? I'm trying to be gentle with your coin, even though it's not in the best shape. 1898. Oh, there you go, buddy. 1800 silver. Love that. That's a dandy right there. He's a little slick, but you know what? He's going to be happy to go home with you. 1898, sweet. i got to get me one of them. Come on. Is that no? That's a mojo run off on me. Huh? Is that no? Oh, I don't know. Uh, what you get? No yeah. mint. No mint. What is it? 1898 Barber. Sweet. Good job, buddy. Oh. Alright, guys. So the police pull up, which is happening to us more and more. There's this huge husky dog. It just comes up Pee's right here, of course. Goes up on the porch. The police pull up and they say, have you seen a husky? And Derek's like, yeah, it's right here. So he walks up to get it. And the thing takes a bite on him. It's lot, it looks really a lot better now. now. But that's going to bruise. Yeah. I couldn't get there quick enough to save you with my giant lech. But old Mikey over here. Now there's a dog back there. She said, don't get around the corner there. Or he'll get you. Anyway, all that to say, I just unearthed a coin and I have to tell you it was encased in some black stuff I didn't know what it was I just slid the black stuff off and the coin itself is black and check that out isn't that beautiful let me get some shade to it for you if I can I don't know how to shade it anyway you can see it right there it says one cent on the coin that's cool. I never found one that was black like that. That must mean it's old, right? Oh, yeah. I don't know. I hadn't looked at it yet. Oh, now it's green. Tell Derek I'm in the 1800s club now for today. He was razzing me earlier. I believe it is. I can't tell. 1890. Maybe 1899. Anyway, I'll clean it up and let you know here in just a second. Well, we are on yet another permission. I don't know, this is four or five. We're having some good luck. So, anyway, it got hunted by her husband, but they said go ahead. Um, found a lot of pennies and stuff. So far, we have found some change. Um, I just had a signal here. I thought I was digging a nickel, 1214. Check it out. I know from the back of it that it's not super old, I believe. Check out the front. It's a navy button. So that is a cool, cool find right there. I am tickled to death with that. And uh, hopefully we can pull some more out of this here yard. Love this hobby. Woohoo!